Shout out to all my gods and goddesses checking out this video. I am C, the spiritual goddess, here for another reading. Yes, gods and goddesses, leave me some heart emojis if you are here checking out this video. Today is a Starlight Report mashup. We are talking about love couples. So if this is your first time watching this, welcome. My name is C, the Spiritual Goddess. Here I do celebrity tarot readings like this, along with personal development videos. Yes, guys and goddesses. So we are going to be talking about Angela Simmons and Yo Gotti. I will leave timestamps below. Before we get into these readings, guys, don't forget to book your love reading. Yes, for those of you who feel like you're not attracting the love you deserve and you need a little bit of coaching, your girl is here. Yes, guys and goddesses, check out the new reading I do have available along with other love readings for the month of February. Happy Valentine's Day to, the, to those all. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start off with Angela Simmons and Yogati. They recently came out that they're together. So I want to ask Spirit, off rip, give me the overall energy of this relationship. Is this a real relationship or a PR relationship, Spirit? Give me the overall energy. Okay. I'm picking up. This is a relationship. I'm not getting, while I'm not getting PR relationship, what I am getting, though, I do feel like they are moving fast because of who, who they are and in the media. I do feel like that, like I'm getting someone who's capitalizing off of their relationship. I do feel like if they, if, if they weren't who they were, they wouldn't be moving this fast is what Spirit is saying. I, am, I, I do have to say this, though. There is a little bit of insecurity in this relationship. I'm going to pick up who's insecure. I feel like someone is a little bit of, uh, have some insecurity um, and jealousy. Now, I do want to say this. Angela, you have to watch it because even, I do feel like people look at Angela the same way I feel like certain people look at the Smith kids. Like they'll want to, in just certain families in general, they'll want to make their way in because of who they are and who their family is. So I am getting a sense of that. I am getting a little bit of sense of that, guys, if I have to be honest with you. Like, like Yo Gotti may not be as into her, but he knows there's benefits with her family in a way. And that's the vibe I'm getting, like, you know. But for the most part, I do feel like this is a real relationship. I, I feel like they are dating for real. Someone is a little bit more clout chasey though, but I do feel like that. Okay. How does Yogati feel about Angela? How does Yogati feel about Angela? Let's see. How does Yogati feel about Angela? How does he truly feel, Spirit? What does his ancestors have to say? So he definitely has an admiration for her. I'm definitely getting this. Like, you know, when we talk about how he always manifests her, definitely that. I do feel like there's a little bit of an obsession there, <laughs> but to be honest with you. But um, he also admires the way she carries herself. I feel like he aspires to be sort of like her and maybe even like her family. Like, her, like I feel like he has admiration. With that being said, I do feel like he may put on a little bit in this relationship. You know how you would get someone who... Maybe they're from a certain lifestyle or just in general, they're from a different place. But when they get to a certain level, they may try to conform. Like, but you can kind of tell they're putting on. Like you ever see the those rich kids who try to come down to the hood out? Look, I, I can tell y'all got some stories. Like, you know, people from the suburbs try to come down to the hood and try to put on like they, 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 they about the streets. It's sort of the other way a little bit. I do feel like they don't spend as much time though as we may think. Like, or maybe lately, I feel like some things are going on. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. How does Angela 
feel about Luca Heavy? Okay. She's definitely feeling him. Now, what I will say is this. If I have to be honest, I do feel like the fact that he's a boss, like he is who he is, made him more appealing. If I have to be honest with you. She is, she is insecure. What is, she is insecure. She's insecure. Let's see. What is she insecure about? Um, I do feel like this too, guys. Um, there is a lot of trauma, a little trauma I'm picking up when it comes to Angela and her last relationship or what happened to her child's father. Unfortunately, rest in peace to him. I do feel like whatever happened within that relationship or maybe even what happens to him, I do feel like it does cause her to be a little insecure to the spirit of saying. Also, I'm getting someone who may suffer from PTSD and like relationship PTSD. Okay, let's see. He's, he spoils her. What is she insecure about? There's some gossip surrounding, um, there's some gossip surrounding him and other women. Some gossip or something like that. I feel like she doesn't 100% trust him and trust what he is saying to her. I'm definitely getting that. Mm. Yeah, there is something. I get like someone else. I feel like she's more in, in, into him, if I have to be honest with you guys, than he is to her. I'm definitely getting a sense of that. Like, she's more into him. She's putting more into this than he really is as far as emotionally i'm definitely getting a sense of that let's see what is going to be the outcome for this relationship i'm getting breakup vibes guys but i just want to pull okay what's going to be the outcome and let me know in the comments below if you're if you are watching at this point do you think this is this relationship is going to last do you think this relationship is going to last guys all right let's see let's see what is going to be the outcome of this relationship? What is going to be the outcome of this relationship? What is the outcome of this relationship? I do feel like she's going to get engaged or he's going to put a ring on it. Like he's going to try. I, I see an engagement or if not some type of engagement. Like they're going to be alluding to this. Um, there is something going on with Angela Simmons and her family. I do want to send prayers. I'm picking up, um, I'm picking up the energy of some family things going on. Spear really wants her to focus on loving herself. What is going to be the outcome? Yeah, she, she may, she may get, um, Called to focus on her family. I don't know. I'm getting like either something going on with her family, maybe even if not scandal, I'm getting like sickness, kind of. All right, let's. Yeah, it's there's going to be something that comes out, and I definitely see that's going to break her trust when it comes to him. I'm definitely getting a sense of that. Yeah. I feel like their flame is going to dim pretty quickly. I do get a sense that Angela is more codependent. She's giving me codependency. I'm getting someone who really, like, she deals with a lot, or she has dealt with a lot of trauma and overcome a lot. Yeah, his his loyalty is going to be called in question. Loyalty is going to be a thing. I do feel like um, she's going to find out that He's lying to her. I definitely am getting. There's someone that wants to come out and wants to spill some tea, guys. There's someone who wants to come out and spill some tea. I'm definitely getting a sense of that. They want to come out. I feel like she, this person I'm getting, female and feminine energy, watches the page. Uh, she is looking. I feel like he may have told her that this was just a... 
PR relationship. He may have told her that she maybe even like I don't know I'm getting sugar in my mouth. Like he may have seen like made it seem like he's getting something out of her. Yeah, there is someone. But I wouldn't be surprised, guys, if they really move fast. There's also something surrounding Yo Gotti and something surrounding his label or something surrounding um yeah something surrounding i don't know if i'm getting like money not being right or something of that nature or something of i wouldn't be surprised if it's like tax something around taxes or criminal a little bit i'm definitely getting a sense of that I do feel like Yogadius was going to try to keep her on the string, like do things just to keep her well enough, Angela, to where she's around. Um, Angela, your ancestors are wanting you to stand up. They're wanting you to stand up. Um, they're wanting you to really pay attention. Um, the, my advice to Angela would be to pay attention to your intuition. He's not telling you the truth. So that's what I'm getting for them. I do feel like there's going to be a lot of gossip surrounding them, a lot of drama. I definitely feel like that, and that may be put a strain. Although, with that being said, I do feel like Angela is going to try to... Um, I feel like your guy is going to try to keep her on the strain. I definitely feel like that. All right, guys, so we're going to pray for them. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about Angela and Yogati. I'm curious to hear from you all. And yeah, gods and goddesses. On to Holly and DDG, gods and goddesses. So recently, they fueled breakup rumors. DDG put out a tweet. Everybody went crazy. Assumed, I think he said something like, oh, these girls are all the same. Then Holly's uh, sister, not Chloe, their other sister came out and was basically, basically like, you ain't gonna do my sister how you did other girls. You know, D DDG is a YouTuber, an artist. And he's had a sort of pass when it comes to relationships um anyway so they then tried to deny and say it was all for like a youtube thing i'm guessing or some new music so they didn't come out and outright say that's what happened guys if you watch my other um holly and ddg video and i see some of you guys started to run it up you guys know i said around this time closer to the Little Mermaid, there was going to be a, a strain on their, put on their relationship. I do feel like this is just young love, young love at its finest. Um, but let's go ahead, we're going to go ahead and pull and see. Was, the, was there problems in their relationship or was this just a clout move? Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. When I was meditating, I did get problems. Yeah, they was, they was, there's trouble in paradise, guys. I don't care how they try to change it there's or try to show it there's trouble in paradise yeah i'm definitely getting the a sense of that i feel like they're, they're still trying to figure it out though however i will say this he was being i feel like they both were being petty her removing him him saying that saying stuff yeah i feel like they are going through some tough times guys but they're trying to work it out yeah they give me toxic, young love toxic vibes, if I have to be honest with you all. I'm definitely getting that. But if you watch my old reading, you guys know what I told you. I do see a strain um, coming on their relationship, especially with, with the success of Holly. All right, let's see. How does DDG, or what caused the, the argument from DDG standpoint? Now, I know people just assume Holly didn't cheat on him, but, you know, guys, don't just believe just, you know, I'm not saying she did, but what I'm saying is, you know, we don't know what's going on. Like, we can't say one one wouldn't do anything because of the way they carry themselves, but also, you know, he does give that college vibe sometimes. My fellow Michigander. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I feel like they're not spending as much time together as they would have liked to. I'm definitely getting a little bit of trust issues. Now, I told you guys, he's trying to move. He wants to move fast a little bit. Not, not, not fast, but 
I'm getting a sense of you know wanting to make you my wife, like you know, but if not necessarily a wife, but wanting to move forward. But I'm getting she's still you know begin in the beginning of her career. Now I definitely do feel like there's a lot of pressure and anxiety of surrounding Holly right now, and I feel like she may not be showing her emotions in the most communicative way with him, and he definitely feels some type of way about it. I'm not going to lie. I do get secret envy, a little bit of jealousy vibes. Like, I feel like you're moving away from me type vibes. Um, and, and I am feeling like this is causing a mood. Like, this is causing a mood, like, the both of them to be in a mood with each other. Okay, so, all right. What about from Holly's standpoint? What about from Holly's standpoint? I feel like they're not spending the, the time they want the closer to the Little Mermaid. Holly feels a little bit of suffocate. I'm getting suffocated. Um, in a sense, this could be she has a lot of pressure. She's feeling a lot of pressure coming up on on her. And this could definitely be a cause with the relationship, too. Like a strain on the relationship. I also feel like he's he's triggering some insecurities with her a little bit. Yeah. I do feel like they're mad at each other, guys. They're trying to work it out, but they're mad at each other. I feel like what I'm picking up is she feels that he doesn't understand what she's going through. I'm definitely getting a sense of that. So let's see. What is going to be the outcome for this relationship? What is going to be the outcome for this relationship? What would be the outcome for this relationship? There's going to be a wedge drawn, drawn between their relationship with the success um, of Little Mermaid. I feel like that's going to cause a lot of strain, especially with her having to go on the road. I do feel like this may be, yeah, this is going. There's going to be some problems in their relationship. But I do feel like eventually they're going to find some peace and harmony. I definitely feel like this. I feel like it's going to be temporary, guys. Like, I feel like, yeah, this is going to be temporary. I wouldn't be surprised if they separate or come back together. I'm getting around August. August is when I see a lot of, let me see. There's going to be opportunity, opportunity for them to uh, come back together and get on the right track of all in August. I definitely see that if they can get over this hump. If they can get over this hump, I definitely see that come August, things will even out for them. Um, I'm definitely picking up this because it's looking like they're just in a tough patch. But what the problem is, though, I'm definitely picking up. There's an ind indecisiveness. There's an indecisiveness there. I wouldn't be surprised though, if even if they try to make this work, what Spirit is saying, I'm definitely seeing like, there's gonna have to be a big decision that's made um, when it comes to this relationship though. Cause I feel like whatever issues that they're dealing with, whatever relation issues that they're dealing with, dealing with separately may come in between their relationship. And I definitely feel like it may, it may be a strain. It may be a strain, guys. Um, I just hope that they can get over this hump if they're destined to. But if it's not meant to work, you know, they will survive. I definitely see both of them um, when I'm getting the energy on both of them. I do see that they do have a bright future ahead and respectfully in both of their careers. But yeah, I do feel like by April, we're going to start to see a lot more things come out. I wouldn't be surprised um, surrounding them in their relationship, guys. But yeah, that's what I have for Holly and DDG. Do you guys think that they're going to last? Let me know. Do you guys like them together? I love to hear it. I know you guys are going to sound off like you always do. Also, make sure you guys tell me what you think about the Angela Simmons. Um, in my Patreon this week, we will be talking about love spell. So if you're in the lounge tier, you're in luck. Uh, we'll probably talk about it a little bit on my channel. And then I'm going to give you love spells that actually work. So I can't wait to see you all there. Until then, all my gods and goddesses, don't forget to always rock your crown. 
See you in the next video. Peace.